This is the uh, King KMC 95 HF radio. Covers 2 to 30 megahertz in 100 hertz step synthesized radio. It consists of a uh, AC power supply. Uh, this is the main transceiver unit. And this is the control unit. The main transceiver unit basically has uh, obviously DC power input coming from the uh, power supply. This is a, uh, a cable that connects the uh, control box to the transceiver unit. This is the cable that goes to the uh, auto tuner. We got that too. That is hooked up to my uh, vertical right now. 24 foot vertical and we also have a DC power uh, uh, interface that basically contains a relay that protects the radio against reverse polarity uh, 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 errors and it also uh, uh, turns off the uh, transceiver from the vehicle battery uh, when it's turned off so there is no uh, uh, leakage that could drain the batter battery over time. But when we run it off a, a C power supply we obviously don't need that right now. Uh, let's turn it on and see what happens. There is a uh, blower in the uh, power supply that might be a little bit overbearing. Well, right now we're at the uh, at the 20 meter band. Not two mets going on. The radio can be tuned in one kilohertz steps or 100 hertz steps, and it has 99 memories, user programmable. It also has uh, a whole bunch of ITU Marine channels pre-programmed. For instance, I have the uh, 60 meter band programmed in. This is uh, a few of those channels. Let's see how it will tune on, the, on those bands. I have a VSWR meter. Once I, I press the microphone, the unit will start tuning. Which actually is done already. One, two, three, one, two, three. As you see, the auto tuner tuned it to a VSWR of one to one in a pretty quick time. On the lower bands it does a better job than the higher bands because my antenna is not optimal for uh, for this kind of configuration. An automatic antenna tuner wants to see the whip right at the uh, at the base of the tuner. I have coax in between and it doesn't like that too much. On the higher band that is more of an issue than on the lower band because on the lower band you need additional capacitance on the output anyway. So let's go to uh, 80 meters. It's during the day, so there is not much going on, unfortunately. And let's tune again. That was it. One, two, three. So it does a pretty good job. It can go, like I said, it can go down all the way to two megahertz. And when we tune there, of course, the meter loses sensitivity at low frequencies but it does that too. Let's go to 7 megahertz, 7150. That works as well. Like I said, there is not much going on. Apologize for that. Uh, radio can do upper sideband, lower sideband, amplitude modulation, CW, and uh, amplitude amp uh, modulation equivalent with uh, basically with rest carrier. And now we're in lower sideband. 
let's go to the 10 me the 30 meter bend that would be 10 1 0 0 I think is more or less in the center and it is tuning there as well 14 meter bend I'm sorry a 20 meter bend uh, 200 upper side bend See, it has a little bit more time there. It's trying different. Okay, it found a solution. Not bad. Let's see if anything is going on. Can at least let you hear something. Conditions are really poor today. Very light on my end. All right, we got a station. I guess he doesn't like him either. Can't even hear the other station. The tuner will not retune when you change frequency, it auto detects the VSWR when you have changed frequency too far from the initial tuning point it will sense that and then it will start retuning so it will not constantly readjust it, but some transceivers do that, this is kind of annoying this one doesn't do that I'll show you the uh, 17 meter band one, uh, what is that? Well, 100 should be in the center let's see what happens there okay that went pretty quickly yeah, a little bit not bad let's go to 21 megahertz 21 200 that would be the 15 meter band okay not bad uh, the 12 meter band 24 uh, 900 would be in the center more or less Still working on it. Not bad. Way below 1 to 1 1.5. 20, uh, 10 meter band, 28,500 is in the center. That's probably going to take. No, not too bad. Pretty good. I thought that would take more effort, but it's not bad at all. All right, let's go back to uh, 20. It's the only place where we hear something today. Pretty piss poor. But that's the way it is. Side to US. I'm tuning right now. During the tuning, the display will flash, and now it's done tuning. That's a pretty good signal. 
you see pretty uh, nifty transceiver the radio was used uh, for both a uh, aircraft applications as an avionics transceiver as well as uh, land mobile and marine applications so it was pretty uh, a pretty uh, a universal transceiver. It's made by King. King was in the days well known for their uh, aircraft equipment, aircraft radios, and this basically is one of their standard aircraft transceivers that they put into a more generic uh, uh, casing. Radio has a mechanical filter, Collins filter. It can actually be switched to 220 volts, 240 actually, so it will so run on foreign uh, voltages like Europe. Right now we have it set for uh, 127, of course. So it's a pretty, uh, pretty nice machine, built very rugged, very rugged transceiver. This is the control box. Microphone plugs in on the side. Speaker is at the bottom. can be mounted on a dash or underneath a, t a table. These are all the manuals. This is the uh, transceiver manual, antenna coupler, the uh, generic user manual, and the re remote control unit, that unit. And this is a, uh, uh, a cheat uh, sheet that allows you to program uh, the channels quickly in case you forgot how to do that. So again, excellent radio, it is in like new condition, it hasn't been used much, and it works perfect. And this concludes the, uh, the King KMC 95 video, thank you for watching.